Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. Today is Sunday and happy Sunday to you all. In today's video, I want us to talk about Mohamed Kudus. Now, I want you to check out a video from his teammate Aaron Presswell who says some things about Mohamed Kudus. Check out this video. Mo Kudus at the minute. Yeah. Even today, I've just trained with him, mate. You just don't He's want to so go sharp, near him. He? He's I'm so up against sharp. him all the time as well, and I'm like. Mo, get over to the left. Go <laughs> you know I mean? the other side. I think he's a, he's a top top talent, yeah. and I think we haven't seen the best of him yet. That goal he scored against Freiburg, I think he's got plenty more of that. We were asking Prousey about him, and he was saying like, you don't realise how strong he is. Getting, getting back to ball. it, I won't go near him in training. <laughs> no, because I know like, if I'm going to try and knock him off the ball, I better make sure he's not looking yeah. and he, he doesn't <laughs> see me coming. You, know, you just can't get near him. Like he's so strong, so quick, so sharp. So guys, that was Aaron Cresswell, Mohamed Kudus' teammate at West Ham, talking about Mohamed Kudus. He says Mohamed Kudus is one kind of player being here. Even at the training grounds, most of the defenders in that team don't want to go close to him because his strength is on top level. His dribbling is on top level. That 1v1 situation, Mohamed Kudus would always come out as a winner. And this is his teammate talking about him. You have seen the likes of Paqueta talk about him. Uh, Mikel Antonio talk about him. Almost all his teammates are of high praise for Mohamed Kudus. Now, West Ham's next game is against Bayer Leverkusen in the Europa League. And that is a big one for West Ham. That is a big one for Mohamed Kudus because Bayer Leverkusen this season are on top, top, top form. Currently, they look like a team that is almost there to win the Bundesliga. So looking at that team coming to fix West Ham, it is, it is a match that I know most people in the world are waiting to watch. We are going to make sure to bring you all the build up to that game. We are also going to bring you our reaction after the game and everything you need to know about Biden Leverkusen versus West Ham. So, guys, let's move away from Mohamed Kudus and talk about Inaki Williams. Yesterday, Inaki Williams helped Athletic Club win Copa de Rey finals and this is their first time in 40 years winning the Copa de Rey finals. But then, there is a video of Inaki Williams on the touch line. Now, Inaki Williams did not play the penalty, so that game in regular time ended in a 1 1 draw. They went to extra time and then there was a penalty shootout. Inaki Williams did not play the penalty, but then the video you are watching here is Inaki Williams on the touch line while the penalty was ongoing. And you could see it is all about the emotions. It is all about the emotions. Inaki Williams on the touch line, or Ningyo Bayern Humpu. He's moving there, he's moving here. I mean, you could see that he wanted to win this badly, but then he was just not on the pitch to play that penalties. And luckily for him, everything went on well. And you could see his emotion stepping on the pitch, hugging his brother. The emotions were like it was dripping. And I mean, a lot of people are attributing this to the Fufu. They had so few days ago at you know, their parents' house. The, the huge Fufu we saw in Naki William and his brother eating people are saying yes the fufu played a role in helping in Nike Williams and his brother Nico Williams win the Copa de Rio finals for Athletic Club. Not only that his brother Nico Williams won the MVP award at the Copa de Rio finals and I'm really happy for Inaki Williams. Good things are coming his way because if you look at their journey to this particular finals, it has not been very like it has not been easy at all. Inaki Williams leaving Blaster team camp after a disastrous Afghan Coming to Athletic Club the following day, Ghana was eliminated out of the Afghan, scoring a goal against Barcelona, beating Atletico de Madrid, getting to where they are right now. It is, it is a true testament to the fact that they really wanted this. And this is their first time winning it in 40 years. Yes, in 40 years. And I'm sure Inaki Williams and his brother Nico Williams will go down in the books of Athletic Club as legends. For me, currently, these players are legends of the club. If they end up leaving in the, in the transfer window, they will still remain legend of the club. They are going to remember them for being there for a very long period of time. And also, the fact that they won the cup at the real finals. And Inaki Williams, we wish him all the best. The emotions, the emotions are just nice to watch. And this is Inaki Williams for you guys. Last, let's talk about Osman Ibrahim. Today, he scored a goal for FC Nordjylland as they played against FC Copenhagen. That game ended in a 2-1 win for FC Nordjylland. Now, the 19-year-old scored the first goal for Nordjylland in the 22nd minute of that game. He only played 88 minutes. And see, he's doing so, so well for FC Nordjylland this season. And don't be surprised if he arrives at Brighton and Hove Albion, which he's bound to. We could see him play in EPL and take the EPL by storm. He's a very young player. He's doing so well at FC Nordjylland. And we all saw him when he came to the Black Stars squad. 
squad. He didn't get enough game time, but then the small chances or the game time he got with the Black Stars, we saw what he could do. We saw how he could deliver a very creative and enterprising young player who today scored for FC Nordland. This season so far, he has scored three goals and given five assists in 23 appearances for FC Nordland, and that is Osman. Ibrahim. Moving away from Osman Ibrahim, let's talk about CK Akono. CK Akono, in an interview with Akuma FM, has urged Ghanaians to remain optimistic and also patient as Otto Ado takes the helm. This is what he said exactly. He says that a coach that has been assigned for a couple of years, which means he would have a very good plan to follow. He also added that we should be patient while the coach impacts his knowledge onto the team then they excel. He included that we need to start all over again, making sure everything goes well. I believe Otto Ado can lead the Black Stars to success. And this is coming from former Black Star coach CK Akono. He says that we should have patience for Otto Ado. Otto Ado can do the job because he has been appointed as the next Black Star coach for a very long period. That means he has a plan for the Black Stars. But then if we are patient, we would see that everything will go on well. Also, we should start over. We should start the Black Stars, start afresh. Give everybody a clean slate with the Black Stars so that we can see if we can qualify for the AFCO 2025 and also the World Cup 2026, which is very important. And I think those are the immediate targets for Coach Otto Adu to qualify the Black Stars to the World Cup and also to the AFCO. In June, we play against Mali and also Central African Republic in the World Cup 2026 qualifiers. And Otto Ado has to deliver. Because so far we have played two games. We have won one and lost one. We need to make sure that we start winning games, especially away from home, away from Ghana here. And that is what CK Akono had to say about the new coach of the Black Stars, Coach Otto Ado. So guys, let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comments. And what do you make of the remarks from CK Akono? Let me know your thoughts about it. Also, let me know your thoughts about what Aaron Cresswell said about Mohamed Kudus in Lucky Williams winning the Copa de Rio with his brother Nico Williams, amongst many others. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next one. Charlie, we go vibe.